what the f did I just do? So as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to show you guys how I apply my wigs in less than 20 minutes. I feel like this in a time of rush is really helpful. It's just a really quick technique I want to show you guys. So this hair is from Miss Coco Hair. As you guys can see, they have a new packaging, which I'm super happy about. The packaging comes with a wig cap, a little mirror that's really cute. There's this beautiful black chocolate lady on the mirror and there's also a um dust bag inside of the box and it says miss coco super soft and really good quality actually now you're gonna see the wig the wig is really nice it came in a plastic sep a separate plastic bag it is a pre-made wig so this hair is their water wave hair this waves beautifully in the water but it also keeps the waves when it's dry um comes with pre-plucked and pre-made baby hairs i'm zo zooming you guys in so you guys can see pre-plucked and baby hairs i did make more baby hairs um myself and pre and plucked more myself but if you don't want to be doing any of that you absolutely do not have to now I'm going to show you guys the inside of the wig. Comes with four clips, um, little clips for to for you to secure your wig. Sorry, you guys. You guys know how bad I am with voiceovers, but um, it comes with four clips to secure the wig and a tie at the back, just so the wig can be nice and tight, so you can adjust it. This is in the medium size, I think. Um, comes in multiple sizing, but yeah, as you guys can see, these are beautiful curls for curls that came in. Um, the box, they're really nice. Usually you have to process the hair in order to get nice curls, but I didn't have to do that. So um, I'm just going to show you guys what I do. I apply my wig cap. This is a different one. This is the one that you get from the beauty supply store. And I'm going to make sure it's um, nice and centered. I'm going to be applying some powder. This is uh, any powder that's the same color as your skin tone. This one's a little darker because it does match my, um, what's the name? It does match my uh, foundation. Yeah, it matches my foundation. My foundation is a little darker because I want it to match my chest because my face is quite light. So I'm going to apply um, the powder all over the front of the wig cap. Sorry, I'm out of breath. And now this is Petunia. Everybody, Petunia, Petunia, everybody. This is my little wig head that um, pretty much holds my wigs as you guys can see i did bleach them knots kind of messed up a little but it was really it you couldn't see it once i had the wig on um it didn't show so obviously there's room for mistakes for everybody but yeah so i tried powdering the wig it was kind of hard so i had to put it on upside down just so i can powder it a little more i did bleach the knots but i like going over um the bleached knots in order what, what am i saying i like going over the bleach knots with um the rest with the rest of the powder on the brush just so you know just to be sure a little double check and now i'm just gonna put on the wig and adjust it to my liking see where i want to do uh if i want to do like a split in the middle or a side part i wasn't sure i obviously went with the split in the middle because your girl is um i'm a creature of habit i love my split in the middle i'm just adjusting my wig cap just so it could look nice i'm going to be using the got to be hairspray to apply the wig so that is um a little different most people use the got to be glue got to be hairspray is just as strong is actually quicker um to dry so i was able to apply this wig literally in 20 minutes obviously it took longer because i was filming but yeah so um i just flip the front of the wig back and apply quite a generous amount of um spray on to my forehead slash hairline um just so the wig um stays on i just applied quite a lot of product um i'm just going to use my blow dryer this is a new one as you guys can see i kind of broke my old one in the last video i did with my blow dryer um so yeah i got a new one a new conair one from walmart <laughs> it's really powerful it's tiny but it's really good so i'm just adjusting the wig um the glue had the time to dry a little but um 
I just applied more and sprayed down so pretty much I'm um, going by sections makes it a little faster and as you're applying it make sure you are um, pressing down on your wig just so it can glue well I also used a comb it's kind of like a rat tail comb I don't know how to call this one um, just a comb with a long end or even the back of a makeup brush or anything that's a little tweezers just so you can have a nice um, grip or it, it's easier for you to flatten down your wig using a tool like that something long Oh, I plucked this wig so well. I think this is my best plucked wig. Best plucked wig. So I'm going to do the same thing all over the perimeter of my face. I'm going to be spraying and spraying, blow drying, spraying, blow drying, and pressing down the wig onto my hair. Um, also comb down, go, combed out excess glue slash spray because... Um, it gets in the hair a little but I used um, I'm gonna show you guys what I used afterwards so like I said it's the same method over and over again until you reach oops I keep getting emails oh my god just doing the same thing the whole perimeter of your face just so the glue can um, stick down I actually went over the blow dryer afterwards um, just to make sure that everything dried down properly. Making sure that the two um, sides, like the sides where your your two two sideburns making sure that that glues down is the most important i always go back um i always go back uh with more spray or more hair glue whatever you're using um i go back because i really want it to stick down because if that lifts your whole wig is just about to piece out so using um some alcohol and some cotton pads i'm going to get rid of the um excess uh spray that leaked down my that drip down my face um because that's not attractive and it's really sticky and it leaves like a residue so i did that now i'm just gonna apply i'm gonna style the hair i'm gonna apply some water spray some water a little everywhere on my head um on my wig and making sure that the curls are back just brushing it out and spraying it with water The hairline is really nice. They did a good job. I feel like I made it better, but you didn't have to pluck the hairline if you didn't want to. Mixing it with some mousse. I know mousse is not that great for your hair, but that's all I had. I'm going to apply just like one pump of mousse because I mixed it with water, so it's not that bad. Um, one pump of mousse applying it all over your hair and blow drying upside down your hair um, I feel like this is what keeps the curls a little more prominent they are a little more defined so pretty much I spray some water all over my hair brush it out and scrunching the hair at the same time so I brush out the hair just so I can have the water my hair to be really marinated into water then apply some mousse just one pump all over the hair and scrunching it and then blow drying and scrunching as you guys can see at the beginning um, I pretty much um, I burned out the fuse of my room um, that's what happened turned all black turned everything off so now we're back into styling we're gonna be applying some mousse on a little toothbrush I like buying the toothbrushes from mini so because they're not too hard and not too soft and I'm just gonna make, be doing some baby hairs. I like using mousse because mousse is a little softer. It doesn't leave that whole like hairspray rigid feel to your baby hairs. Now I'm gonna apply my Fuchi scarf. This is my silk scarf that I use for my hair. Oh my God, these baby hairs are so nice. Oh. And I'm just going to be tying my hair and moving on to makeup, I guess. Yeah, so after the silk, silk, scarf 
you can now move on to your makeup and ta-da so that is it for the video guys 20 minutes i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel y'all see this hairline oh my god anyways i'll see you guys in my next one love you bye Mwah! Thanks too many.